Unconventional natural gas production from underground coal seams, such as coal bed methane, is now considered to be one of the greatest untapped energy resources developing around the world. Untapped reserves are estimated in the trillions of cubic feet of available gas, and large energy companies are buying or leasing millions of acres of property around the world that hold gas-rich coal seams for development. For most coal seam gas wells, and some shale gas wells, enormous quantities of water must be pumped from these wells in order for the natural gas to be released from these coal seams. A gas production company may have to pump as much as 100,000 barrels of water per day from a small field of 100 wells in order to have regular and consistent gas production. Over the last 15 years, there's been an incredible transition in the disposal of CBM produced water. Most of this transition has been led by environmental concerns about the quantity of water that is being drained from our large underground aquifers and the potential environmental impact of this surface discharged water. The removal and disposal of water from CBM wells is one of the biggest costs, delays, and environmental concerns for gas production companies. Traditional methods of water mitigation involving surface discharge have become uneconomical or legally unviable in many regions of the world. Environmental experts estimate, and many are demanding, that any method of surface discharge is subject to severe worldwide limitations. CBM operators and environmentalists are asking the same questions. What is the most cost-effective and environmentally friendly method for managing water that is currently being pumped from thousands of coal seam gas wells all over the world? What improvements can CSG CBM operators make to better handle the water that must be pumped from thousands of new wells that will soon be coming online around the world in order to obtain this abundant energy resource? The only economical, environmental, and landowner-friendly solution requires that CPM-produced water is never brought to the surface. Since 2007, there has been increased development and successful large-scale implementations of a new type of aquifer recharge technology. Aquifer recharge injection systems for CBM wells have proven to handle large quantities of water at very low costs. This introduction began in the Powder River Basin of Wyoming, but is spreading across the U.S. and to various countries that need to manage CSG-produced water. With this type of aquifer recharge injection system, the produced water is never removed from the production gas well. This has eliminated an array of costs and issues, while proving to be the most cost and time-saving method for managing produced water while maintaining consistent gas production. For CBM operators, these aquifer recharge systems dramatically reduce dewatering costs. While many companies were spending 15 to 40 cents per barrel for ongoing water disposal, these aquifer recharge systems have a much lower upfront cost and reduced outgoing costs to as low as 2 cents per barrel for high volume water production. This type of aquifer recharge system keeps all the produced water subsurface and within the production well bore, eliminating water piping, outfalls, impoundments, and treatment, while allowing the released gas to rise to the surface for normal collection. In this aquifer recharge system, the water is re-injected immediately in the same well bore as soon as it is pumped from the coal seam. This type of aquifer recharge system is also known as ARID. With ARID, water is pumped out of the coal seam and into an available aquifer with like water quality in the same well bore. As part of the solution, qualifying receiving zones are identified for each well and tested to ensure optimal long-term environmental safety and viability. A major advantage of ARID is that each production well operates independently as its own injection well. Therefore, if one injection well goes down, there is no impact on any other wells. Arid systems work under relatively low pressure, eliminating surface pressure concerns, avoiding costs and risks of high pressure injection, and enhancing the long-term potential of the receiving zone. With low pressure reinjection, receiving zones will consistently accept large quantities of water over many years. Many zones will handle water recharge rates in excess of 75 GPM. Arid systems are the most environmentally and landowner-friendly method for retaining usable groundwater 
and therefore the permitting process is much less time consuming and less expensive in comparison to surface discharge or deep injection water management methods. Arid is usually permitted in weeks rather than the many months currently required for permitting surface discharge if surface discharge permits are available at all. In addition to all the benefits for CBM operators, this aquifer recharge system is very attractive for landowners. ARID will recharge shallow aquifers at a significant benefit to the current or future landowners. Consequently, landowner negotiations are often expedited due to the potential improvements of an easily accessible water supply. Landowners are often able to obtain beneficial water rights on the water that is re-injected, enhancing the property value. All concerned parties favor the low cost and environmental benefits offered by the ARID system. There are some very specific processes that must be followed and downhole equipment that is needed in order to correctly implement this aquifer recharge system. The system has been developed to work in well casings of 5.5 inches and greater. A pipe string from the water pump is attached to the bottom of the water porthole in what is called the arid mandrel. The specialized arid mandrel is a critical component of the arid system and usually sits above the pumping fluid gas breakout level and below the aquifer recharge zone. A gas riser pipe is attached to the top of the mandrel on the gas port and extends out through the watertight wellhead to the compressor. The pump cable is run from the pump up through the mandrel and through the wellhead to the power supply. During the installation process, transducers are positioned at the top of the pump and on top of the mandrel in order to monitor water pressures in the pumping zone and the receiving zone. A pre-selected recharge aquifer is perforated and tested for water yield and water quality and compared to the quality of the water from the producing coal seam. When water quality criteria are met, the arid mandrel is set below the lowest perforation in the injection zone, but well above the static fluid level of the producing coal zone. The pump, which in this example sits below the arid mandrel, brings water up the water riser pipe and through the mandrel to fill the void between the arid mandrel and the watertight wellhead. As hydrostatic pressure builds, the water is forced through the perforations in the casing wall and into the selected zone, beginning the aquifer recharge process. Normal gas separation occurs at the bottom of the well at the pumping fluid level. As gas is released from the coal seam, it flows up through the gas riser pipe and out through the watertight wellhead to the compressor. While it is most advantageous to pump the produced water to a shallower aquifer recharge zone, the system may also be configured to pump water to a recharge zone below the coal seam. This configuration is most commonly used to eliminate surface discharge when dewatering coal mines, but it is also applied to CBM wells when shallower recharge zones are not available. Big Cat Energy provides the arid system as a complete downhole coal seam dewatering solution. This includes the geological evaluation of the receiving zones, permitting, specialized hardware required to manage the separation of water flows and gas flows in the well bore, coordination of the installation, and continued well monitoring and optimization. Operators who have implemented aquifer recharge systems have achieved significant time and cost savings for water mitigation. Environmentally conscious companies are looking for solutions that reduce their environmental footprint. The Arid Aquifer Recharge System offers these companies the opportunity to take advantage of the most environmentally friendly water handling solution available for coal bed methane and coal seam gas production. If you would like to discuss your current water handling needs or just have questions, contact us and we will show you how the ARID system can be implemented on your current or planned coal seam gas project to save you time and money. Our website is www.bigcatenergy.com. You can email us at sales at bigcatenergy.com or you can phone one 307 468-9369 or call toll-free in the USA at 1-877-912-2283.